Imagine hundreds of thousands of Roblox accounts all getting hacked at once. Well, this actually happened, and it's happened a couple of times. And today, I'm going to break down all the crazy Roblox hacking and viruses. Stay tuned because it gets pretty wild. And also, today's my birthday, and all I ask you is to please subscribe and like. And let's start with our nearest case, and our potentially craziest case being this, where Blocks made to us saying, Cybersecurity firm Reason Labs, so like an actual lab looked into this and like security people, has claimed that 300,000 Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome users were affected by fraudulent Roblox FPS unlocker and VLC Media player browser extensions. So yeah, this is wild. 300,000 people have been a part of this Roblox hacking. And as we can see in this article, the actual cybersecurity team, you know, people who look into hackings, look into all these extensions and stuff like that in Roblox, and they concluded that 300,000 people who use the extensions have been hacked. And this time, it was an FPS unlocker apparently. Now if you're a bit confused, let me break down what's going on here and explain to you how this works and why it works. So almost all these viruses and hackings are always through Roblox extensions. Extensions you can download in a browser. And most of the time, extensions are there just to make Roblox easier and to make life on Roblox easier. A lot of them give better UI, a lot of them make, you know, Roblox run better. Some of them are just jokes, but in general, that's the whole point of extensions. To give an add-on to Roblox that Roblox themselves want to add, which is why an FPS unlocker was so popular, because Roblox hasn't added that for years. But unfortunately, even though some of these extensions are good, and a lot of them are actually harmless, a lot of them are actually pretty harmful, and you can hack a bunch of Roblox accounts at once. Basically how it works is that, since it's an extension, they all work in the background, and because of that, they have access to your Roblox account without them even needing a password or even needing them to log in. And because of that, what they do is they go into people's Roblox account, and they, you know, go through their extension, and what they do is they check their list of people who have their extension and they check all the roles accounts that have you know a bunch of robux a bunch of limiteds and then once they find an account that has you know expensive stuff they steal everything they trade all the expensive limiteds to themselves and other accounts so then they own it and then they can sell it and then they take all the robux as well by making the player buy an expensive shirt that they own so all the robux goes to them and like i mentioned this is going on all behind the scenes because it's an extension so most of the time players don't even know this is going on and most of the time when this happened a lot of the players don't even know what's happening they have to log on to robux one day see all their robux is missing so your limiters are missing and then that's it everything's gone and in this instance apparently 300,000 people had their account hacked which is already insane but it gets even crazier because our next one is also one of the biggest roles hackers of all time yet again being through an extension being search blocks roper at the time issued us saying that if you have the search box extension remove it immediately malicious code executes arbitrary javascript was added to it today many search block users are having their limited items automatically traded from their accounts and they showed the code this tiny line of code these four you know sentences is what makes them be able to hack hundreds of thousands of Rolls accounts. And as you can see, it's not even that hard. What these extensions do is they make a good extension. Like they make a super trustworthy, good extension that people want. In this case, Searchbox was an extension that allowed you to go to any Roblox server, search up a user ID and join them. So people used it for like YouTubers and stuff like that. And for the first few months, Searchbox was super popular and it worked very well. Everyone liked it, farmed a good community and had over 200,000 members. And then right when they realized that they have all this following and members, they abused it and they hacked almost all 200,000 users all at once. And like I explained to you guys, this was all going on behind the scenes and it took a little bit for the news to come out so people weren't aware of this a lot of people were just playing roblox enjoying their days and then out of nowhere all their robux and limiteds were gone without them even knowing and this one's probably one of the worst ones just because it was you know massive number one but also number two search blocks was the people who kind of made this whole method popular and it was one of the first ones at the time so nowadays if someone gets hacked they probably know it's an extension but since this was the first one a lot of people didn't even know what was going on and they didn't know it was search blocks, so most people didn't even delete the extension right away, and they can just keep going to their account, stealing stuff over and over again, you know? They're very malicious and very horrible. And already, as we can see, search blocks to 200,000 people, the last one to like 300,000 people, there's already half a million accounts that you just stole, with like 4 lines of code, it's pretty insane. But yeah, like I mentioned, as you can see here, there's a couple of methods they do. Like this one, for example, they make people buy an expensive shirt for all their robux, that's why it's such a random amount, 985,794, all to one player. And there's more, as you can see here, even some smaller accounts that have like 20,000 robux, which are obviously still a lot, but just smaller compared to, to a million. Even those got stolen, they were literally targeting anyone with robux, and just taking all of it. It, they wouldn't even leave a penny. And as you can see, people slowly started to realize on Roblox and on Twitter, tweeting it out, warning people, and also going on the Roblox group saying, you know, delete it and stuff like that. And it's actually pretty crazy to see because you can actually see the history of this. Unstoppable Lucent was a person behind all this. And you can literally see the second he decided to do all this because look at this chart. As we can see by this chart, this shows the value of his Rolos account. And this shows, you know, the value based on limited items and stuff like that. And for the most part, it was just a little bit. You know, he had like 6,000, expected to 18,000, 50,000. You know, nothing too crazy. 
pretty normal for a Roblox player, you know? He probably had like a few limited items. And then one day out of nowhere, boom, it shot up to 1.5 million Robux value and then shot all the way back down because Roblox really hasn't banned him. But yeah, as you can see by the chart, you can see the exact second he decided to hack all these people. And what he did was he took all their limited and sent it to himself. And beyond that point, what he was probably going to do is use to sell them, which if you don't know what that means, a lot of times hackers and malicious people, when they get the limiteds, they obviously can't sell them for Robux because no one's going to buy it for that much. But there are black market websites that they can sell it for actual money. And that's what they do with them. They sell it for actual money on the black market just because the items are, you know, scanned anyways. So, so far as we can see, these extensions have so much power. They've stolen millions of Robux, they've stolen millions of Robux of items, and they've hacked over 500,000 accounts. Absolutely insane. And they literally are basically a virus on Roblox. And there's been a bunch more of these. Like I mentioned, Searchblocks are the people who made this method popular, and ever since that, a large majority of extensions on Roblox now are just scams. But they're all a little bit different. The first one I showed you kind of used the Searchblocks method by just gaining an audience and then taking everything. But since people already realized that, people had to step up their game. Let me show you what I mean. Like for example, next people actually used extensions to scam people and also scam the users. Let me show you what I mean. Tazzy at the time made a tweet saying, Finally found out what those fake giveaway scams are using to purposely inflate their Robux. It's this stupid extension. This extension regs your Robux balance to make it seem like you have more, even on refresh. Be aware. Not so little fast one, do it download it yourself. The extensions are filled with cookie loggers and backdoor scripts that'll get you to lose all your Robux, all your passwords to get stolen, or worse. Don't believe everything you hear from these morons, avoid these scams. So yeah, all these extensions have this, cookie loggers, backdoor scripts, and like they mentioned, they can steal all your Robux, passwords, and stuff like that. But most of the time, they don't really need passwords, they just kind of steal the limiteds and the Robux because that's all they really need. But back to this tweet, this scam was very interesting. So not only was the extension just a massive scam, it was similar to what I showed you, they can just steal anyone's limiteds and Robux, but they were actually using the extension to scam people. So the extension was a scam extension and it ended up being a giant scam. Because like they mentioned in the tweet, what this extension did was it would make your Robux inflated and it can make it any amount you want. And even if you refresh your page, it will still pop up. So it'll show your Robux balance is 2 million, even if you don't have 2 million, and then you refresh and it looks believable. And then people use that to scam, because people would record videos, screen share, whatever, showing their Robux account, and it would be like, oh look, I have 2 million Robux, and they would refresh, and it'll still say 2 million, even though it's just like a fake number, they don't actually have 2 million. And then they would use that to get people to believe them, and then scam them. So already the extension was bad. But then, the extension scammed the users back by stealing all their Robux Unlimiteds. This was a pretty insane one and just an overall mess and he probably scammed thousands of people. In fact, as we can see, this one had like 10,000 users at the time, so that's another 10,000 people just scammed straight up. And they definitely took all their Robux Limiteds. But let's move to our next ones because they get crazier like I mentioned and they all show a different kind of method. And this next method is crazy because they use the Roblox ads. Rolls ads aren't around anymore but at the time when they were, they abused them like crazy. Basically this is how it worked. work. They would advertise all over Roblox saying the extension name, advertise the extension, and it was going all over Roblox. Literally, these ads were everywhere. Every couple of refreshes, you would see the ad. They spent so much Robux on it. Probably from other scams, to be honest. But beyond that, if you're wondering how these scam people, if it's just like a Roblox ad, basically what you would do is you would have the ad, and then once you click on it, it'll bring you to their Roblox group. And this Roblox group is where the scam really starts. Because this Roblox group, they would try everything to try to get you to download the extension. They would call the group extension, you say in the description to get the extension, I think maybe they even had socials link to get the extension. They are trying to get everyone to get the extension, and obviously right when you get the extension, it scams you, steals all your Robux, steals all your limiteds, and a lot of people fell for this because it's on Roblox. Since Roblox is a typically younger audience, a lot of them don't even know what an extension probably is, and they're not going to go out of their way to download an extension on the Chrome store. However, this scam was different because it explained everything to them and it was right in their face. Right when a player logged on, they would get this ad over and over again. It was all in their face, they couldn't ignore it. And then right when they clicked on the ad, it'll explain it in great detail of how to get the extension. It'll make it look super safe and super legit. And obviously to a bunch of little kids, they don't know any better. They're just gonna go download it, think, you know, use it and move on. But little they know at the time, they're literally being hacked behind the scenes without them even knowing. And this group had like a thousand members, I think it grew more, and the extension had like a couple thousand people as well. So once again, thousands of more people all just got scammed yet again. And this scam came back over and over again. This ad method was like the new thing hackers were using and scammers were using to, you know, hack hundreds of thousands of people. It came back like a couple of months ago under a new name being Road Tracker, similar to the search blocks thing. It was the exact same thing, actually just under a different name, and they do the same method. As we see in this creek video, the ad would keep popping up over and over again. They spent a bunch of Robux on it to get it right in people's faces, and this one was the same deal. Right when you click on it, it'll lead you to a group and it'll show you everything of how to get the extension. And this one was really popular as well. This extension had 4,000 people. And I think this kind of shows you how easy 
these scams were and how much people they were scamming because these will happen in a matter of days they literally pop up on roblox out of nowhere in like a week at a couple thousand people steal their roles unlimited and then be gone because they'll get banned but all the damage has already been done and as you guys can see they just keep coming back over and over again under new methods and it keeps working over and over again because even though it seems obvious to us roblox is a massive platform so not everyone is aware and people keep getting scammed over and over again and millions of robots is being stolen and so much rare items are being stolen out of hundreds of thousands of people it's actually insane and with that let's move to our last one which is a different method yet again and this time is a bit weird because they actually wanted you to get like a model so as we can see here julian rolls stood out saying another militia extension that utilizes a quick clogging feature to hijack accounts if an account is a specific bottle in their inventory so yeah so yeah this scam was different this one was kind of harder and more complicated, but it still did affect a lot of people. And as you can see here, Julian Rolls kind of followed up explaining what it is. And as you can see, it's a Roblox clothing template exporter. So I think people would have to download this and then some clothing as well from their group. And then right when they get that, boom, everything's gone. It's a pretty interesting one. And this one did also scam thousands of people yet again. So yeah, as you guys can see, as I covered in this video, the viruses of Roblox are super dangerous and super insane. And that's how hundreds of thousands of people got hacked all at once. At the start of the video, I showed you the major ones, you know, and these things just keep popping up, scamming thousands of people, stealing millions of Robux and items. And it seems like a cycle that never ends. It just keeps happening over and over again. They pop up, steal a bunch of Robux, steal a bunch of items, get banned, go quiet for a little bit, pop up again. It has died on a bit now since these are super common, more people are getting aware of it. And also the fact that Robux removed ads, but they definitely will be back soon. So be super careful and be super careful what extensions you download because most of the extensions nowadays are just scams. So be very, very careful because you never know, you could be next. And with that being said, if you enjoyed, check this video to find out why this Rolls account shouldn't exist or check this video to find out why everyone hates this Rolls game. I'll see you in the next one.